sending unbelievable sums on waging a war in Afghanistan. Uh, the money squandered so far in this year, I checked it yesterday, is 1,451 million Swedish crowns. And that would, already that amount would be enough to buy high quality winter boots for 23 million Afghans. And this is what it's actually all about. It's guns or butter. It is human lives or geopolitical castles in the air. Uh, the beautiful name Bashar Dust means friend of humanity. And rarely have we seen somebody taking his own name, the dreams of his parents and the dreams of the Afghan people, more seriously. Very welcome, Mr. Bashar Dust. If you hear me, I prefer to speak you without the mic. No, no, no. You can hear me? No, it's better with the mic. Dear friend, many thanks for your participation in this meeting or uh, discussion. It is a honor for me. I am sorry that I cannot speak uh, Swedish language, but you can find in your language uh, uh, some little item about my idea. Uh, the first item is a newspaper after Blondet in website published yesterday, and another in, in another my interview in Sven uh, Sack. So you, I don't know what is, what is the uh, mean of item, but I see there is a, a nice photo. The only thing that I understand. I say a friend because I would like to speak to you as a friend and frankly not as an Afghan politician or an uh, Afghan member of parliament. The first point that I would like to give my analyze, it is just my analyze. I cannot say that everything that I say it is true. No, it is just my analyze about Afghanistan, Afghan situation. When as a former a student of political science, I analyzed the Afghan war. For me, it is a very strange war in the war history. Because in every war, we have only we have enemy. And we know who is only, who is enemy, who is friend. For example, in Soviet Union period, in the Soviet Union occupation in Afghanistan, we knew very well who is in and who fight who. In one side, there was Swedish, uh, there was sorry, uh, Union Soviet, Soviet Union troops with Afghan government or communist political party, it was in one side Soviet Union troops, Kabul government, and the Eastern country like Cheku, Polonu, other countries. In the other side, there was Mujahideen, America, and Pakistan. But in this war, now in Afghanistan, since 12 years, we don't know who is in me, who is friend. Why? Of 
Initially, the Taliban fight American troops in Afghanistan. But where is Taliban? American administration all say Taliban are in Pakistan. The question, who is Pakistan? The friend of United States, the ally of United States. The other strange point in this war, Afghan authorities, international community, American administration, all say that the Taliban received weapon and money from Pakistan. The question, Pakistan government give Calder Pakistan's money? No, because with Calder, with a lot of Pakistanis currency, we cannot buy one Kalashnikov. And at the same time, all economic analysis show that Pakistan economic, it is a disaster. It is not enough to pay the salary of Pakistanis clerk. So, which, which money Pakistanis government finance Taliban with American dollar? Every year, more than one billion, some years, two billion dollar United States donate or help Pakistanis government. The Ad Af Af American administration give the Pakistanis army weapon. And all, everyone say, and also American administration that with this dollar, with this weapon, American dollar, American weapon, Taliban kill American soldier. Two or three weeks ago, the American Senate decided to put in the blacklist the Haqqani group, called Haqqani group. It was a group of Mujahideen, and now led by Haqqani. It is a familiar group. Why American administration said this group attacked American embassy in Kabul? and intercontinental hotel in Kabul. It is the reason that American administration put this group in the blacklist. <coughs> but the chief of this group, Mr. Haqqani, what he said? He said, my group my soldier or my troop, they are a part of Taliban. He said, my leader, he is Mullah Omar. I respect, I do everything that the Taliban chief Mullah Muhammad Omar said. And never, never, the Zahakwani group accept or give a declaration to attack American embassy or other terrorist action. Every attack in 12 years accepted by spokesman of Taliban. The question, why is the Taliban movement Why American administration doesn't put in blacklist the Taliban movement? Mullah Muhammad Umar, the chief of Taliban, his name is in the blacklist of United Organization, not in the blacklist of Minister of State Department of America. 
American administration said everyone, everybody give us the address of chief of Taliban, we give her or him 25 million dollars. Since seven months, the American administration discussed with the NOE special of the chief of Taliban, the secretary special of Mullah Muhammad Umar, the NOE special of Mullah Muhammad Umar, does he know where is Mullah Muhammad Umar? It is the reason I, I think for an academic analysis. The Afghan war, it is the first war that everything is very dark. The other element very strange in Afghanistan, it is the human rights world. I had in 2004 a tent in Park Sharilau, it is a small park in Afghan, in Kabul center. Afghan ordinary people came in my tent, we discussed about everything. And I had in this time a small TV in my tent. A day we what the meeting between the former ambassador of Germany and Mr. Dostum, the one of the famous warlords in Afghanistan. In the end of interview, the former ambassador of Germany said to Mr. Dostum, you are a good man. You did a lot of good things for Afghan people. The ordinary <coughs> Afghan in my chain, they asked me, Mr. Bashalus, we didn't understand. I said, what you didn't understand? He said, the German government, by his ambassador, said, Mr. Dustum, he's a good man. And he did a lot of good things for Afghanistan. I asked to these people, where is the problem? What is the problem? These people say, we believe, we believe that Germany government support human rights values. If German government, for example, supports the human rights values, his ambassador never can say to Mr. Dustum he is a good man. Some other say it will be probably a problem of translation, a problem of translation. I say that you don't know it. So it is just an example. I was candidate for presidential election. I visited 27 provinces. In each province, the governor, the chief of police, they are former commando of Mujahideen or former commando of Communist Political Party. And all accused by Afghan people for crime of war. Who keep the security of this, this governor? The soldier of human rights warriors. Behind the door of this governor in the night and behind the door of their office in the day, you find the for example, Swedish soldier, American soldier, British soldier, to keep the security of this war rule. 
and it is the reason we couldn't understand what is the meaning of human rights laws. The final support, the military support, the political support of international community, it is the principal reason that the warlord, the criminal of war in Afghanistan, become every day more strong and ask more power. I give just some point because we have not enough time. The other strange element in Afghanistan, it is the election. Election in Afghanistan means that you buy openly the vote. That you organize the big lunch to buy the wood. Afghan electoral legislation cannot authorize this kind of action and say if a candidate do it, he or she cannot participate to the election. But the international community and Afghan government never, never say to a candidate, you are a candidate, this is an election, you must prepare a program, you go between water, in the market, in the university, in the farm, in everywhere. You explain your program, your idea to obtain the world. You cannot send your man or woman with the money, with the mobile, with the other prisons to buy openly the wood. And it is the reason that the situation of, of the situation of election in presidential election and parliamentary election come every day more worse. The Afghan parliament, National Assembly especially, the first National Assembly was more better than the second. The second, it is more disaster. Why? Because a new generation, educated generation, never involved in civil war, cannot why the election? Why? Because he cannot buy the wood. He has no money. It is the reason that the businessman, Afghan kind of businessman, in one year, he become a millionaire. We don't know where he finds this money. Or Afghan warlord, they are winner of election. And I never see, for example, the Swedish ambassador or American ambassador or German or French or Japanese protest. We cannot say election when there, is, when there was more than one million fraud. In the last presidential election, the director of independent electoral <coughs> commission said, Mr. Karzai, fraud was 1,300,000. One vote can change the result of election. But there was 1,300,000 fraud. Miss Clinton gives a result of Afghan election in Washington. He said, Mr. Karzai, he's winner 
because Mr. Abdullah refused to participate in second round. It is okay in America election because there is two candidates. For example, if one candidate refuses to run, the other will be winner. But in Afghanistan, there was, I think, 18 candidates. Afghan electoral law said if the second candidate refuses to participate in the second round, the third candidate must participate. If the third candidate refused or died, for example, the fourth candidate must participate. So, or Ms. Clinton never read Afghan electoral law, or Mr. Ms. Clinton decided without respect Afghan legislation. They dropped the United Nations Organization Against Crime and Drug two weeks ago published a report. Afghanistan produce the most drug in the world, 90% or 93% since 2001. This organization say the benefit or the money of drug from 2001 until 2010 it was 60, 80 billion dollars. 60, 80 billion dollars, the money of drug in Afghanistan. Who put this money in his or their pocket? Two billion dollars go in the Afghan pocket. Afghan farmer. Afghan traffic of drug and the group of Taliban or the group that called Taliban. Six, two billion dollars, a small three percent in the pocket of Afghan farmer. The big part of this two billion dollars in the pocket of Taliban or called Taliban and Traffic of drug. Sixty-six billion dollar go in the pocket of foreigner, and the minister, Afghan minister of finance, said in this time, 2001, 2010, Afghanistan received just 59, 59 million billion dollar. And with this money, I'm absolutely sure that I said in my interview in this, with this journalist that my friend translated for me, we can build three new Afghanistan with $59 billion because the salary of Afghan teacher, it is $100 a month. The salary of Afghan worker, it is about two dollars in Delhi. But we cannot find in Kabul one street that we can call street. In Afghan capital, 30% of Citizens have electricity, state electricity. 40% private electricity. They pay 100 Afghani for one group, for example, like this. And 40% have, have this electricity from 7 o'clock until 10 o'clock in the night. Mr. And uh, 40, 30, and 30 other persons, they have not electricity. Mr. Obama visited Kabul. When he returned in the United States, he gave an interview. He said, 
There, I saw a big problem, a big development in Kabul because Kabul was not dark. There were electricity. I said, and I said, if the Obama plane arrived in Kabul after 10 p.m., Kabul was dark. <coughs> the corruption, it is practically legal. It is in fact legal. <coughs> we have two kinds of corruption. The small corruption and the big corruption. The small corruption, for example, the policeman, for example, the clerk, the police of traffic. Their salary is $100 or $200. It is not possible to have a life or survive with $200 at most. And each Afghan has four or five children. So, I don't say that they have reason, but they have not other choice. The other corruption, it is higher level corruption, big corruption in <coughs> Afghan parliament, MP, senator, governor, minister, vice president. It is when they give a contract a lot of money you must use, you must give to a higher authority to have a contract. And Afghan actual system, political system, it is a political system that the corruption, the drug, and the power of world rule, it is the principal part of this political system. Whether this element, this political system cannot exist. And for me, and I say in 10 years to the international community, for me, the international community lose its values in Afghanistan, it is taxpayer money in Afghanistan, and the young soldier life in Afghanistan. Some of this one said me, we need time. For example, it was, I mean, the Swedish in a way special for Afghanistan and Pakistan also. I said, absolutely, I believe as you, in 2005, that we need time. But with, with, with time, the situation <coughs> become more worse not more better. More you have time, more there are war. More you have time, more the criminal of war becomes strong. More you have time, more the corruption becomes general. More you have time, more there is not, there is not justice in Afghanistan. I would like to finish with this fact. I see Mr. Bush was in campaign against Al Gore. I see and Al Gore criticized the administration of Bush, the administration of the Bush politics in Afghanistan in this time, in the TV, in the TV debate. Mr. Bush said one point 
of my politics in the world, and especially in Afghanistan, it is a big honor for all America in the history. What George Bush said? He said, in Afghanistan, now six million, six million Afghan children and boys go to school. Boys and girls go to school in Afghanistan. It is a big honor for America, and we never forget it. Al Gore didn't say nothing. Now, Mr. Obama, Mr. Karzai, international community, every day they say six million or more than six million Afghan girls and boys go to school. When I meet the ambassador of this country and they say to me, for example, the former ambassador of America in my tent, General Ekenberry said to me, six million Afghan, I say, Mr. Ambassador, show me one school in Afghanistan, one school. In all Afghanistan, there is not one school. He became very nervous. He said, you lie. We built a lot of school in Kabul. I said, show me one school. What is the mean of school? The mean of school that there is enough chair. There is enough table. There is enough book. There is teacher. So, the most famous high school in Afghanistan called Lise Habibia, High School of Habibia. I said, Mr. Ambassador, this high school, it is very near of my tent, about five minutes. If you want, we can go now in this school. There is not enough chair, there is not enough table, there is not enough book, there is not teacher. In this case, we cannot say they go to school. Afghan children go to school. Two hours a day. Two hours, half past two hours. In two hours, in day, in school, what he or she learned or read. The salary of a teacher, it is $150. The teacher arrived in school and signed the paper and quickly go to market to sell some potatoes to make some money for his family. Because with $150, you cannot survive, or they go in the private school. <coughs> the situation in Afghanistan, I am absolutely sure it is a disaster for Afghan people. It is a disaster for young American or Swedish or British soldier that lose his life to protect who a governor, a corrupt governor, a criminal of war governor, or minister or MP. It is a disaster also for taxpayer. I didn't see your parliament, but I studied in France in law and political sciences. I saw French Parliament in Paris, we find we see more luxurious cars in Afghan Parliament than in France, French Parliament. It is with your money. 
It is with you and mine. And I think it is time that the French, the British, the Swedish, the American taxpayer ask where is going my money. There is a mafia system in power, unfortunately, in Afghanistan. Many thanks for your attention. Thank you very much. Uh, I think we cannot uh, discuss for all elements. It's the reason that I give my email address and website. There is some element in English. If you have some question, you can use my email address. If you want, you can put also your email address that I want to be in touch with you when I am in Afghanistan or other place. Thank you very much. Okay. So